Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kaji Data Online. In this video, I'm going to share with you an idea about how you want to connect your ESP32 and also with the OLED display. Uh, utilizing the functions of this particular module, as you know, the ESP32 can be connected directly via Wi-Fi. And I'm going to connect uh, some of the resources outside there, named as Open Weather. You are already familiar or maybe you are not yet really familiar with the openweathermap.org. This is one of the primary um, data that already being shared upon uh, identifying your weather condition in your specific work or specific um, living areas. So in this video, I'm going to explain with you how you want to um, enable all these features with your ESP32. So let us begin. So the first step, uh, what you have here is actually an, a normal ESP32 module. So let me zoom a little bit so that you can have a look about this uh, model. So this is the ESP32 V ROM connected via I square C for this OLED display. So this is 0 0.96 inch OLED display. It is has um, four important connection ground VCC, SCL and also SDA. So the connections are basically if you are going to use the ESP32, this is the connections are going to be involved. So uh, we have to connect the five volt over here. We can see there is a ground. So the ground are going to be connected at the ground. Any ground of your ESP32 will do. So I'm going to connect it here. And then we have the 5 volt over here. So the 5 volt or VCC can be connected at the VIN over here or any 5 volt that are suitable to be connected um, from our uh, ESP32. And then we have SDA and SEL. For ESP32, the SDA and SEL are actually correspond to the pin number 21 and 22. Okay, we have here 21 and 22. So this is a 21 and then this is a 22. So let me just zoom in a little bit so that you can have a look. So the 21 um, probably here and then the another one is 22 is um, towards the end of this module. Alright, so um, to simplify all the connections together and also adding up more other features uh, suitable for the usage of this ESP module, I make uh, a, a normal puff board that are already being connected with a few wires over here. Uh, correspond to each of the functions. So majority of my wire are actually connected to this I square C. So this one is I square C1, this one is I square C2, and then this one is I square C3, something like that. And then this one is for the power supply. So the reason of doing this is basically to simplifying everything um, for your particular project. All right. So let us dive in into the next step of how you want to code it. Okay. So when I connect it on my puff board that are already assigned the connection with regard to the ESP32 um, and also the um, I square C component over here and automatically it is uh, going to be function as what we expect. All right. So let us begin into the coding part. So the first step, if you are going to run similar project like this, you have to or you have to register account under the openweathermap.org and then you can sign in so i already signed in and then i uh, can navigate my api key so the api key is where you are going to use uh, this key and then you can just copy and paste this key and then insert it inside your um, arduino ide okay so that is the first step you have to call upon or copy your api key so the second step that you have to do is basically uh, you have to insert your uh, Wi-Fi credential. Okay. So let me just update a little bit here. Okay. All right. So if you can see here in my IDE, we have here um, the include the inclusions of following libraries. So what I have, I have a library for Wi-Fi.h. So this one is very important if you want to communicate. Uh, especially with your ESP and then we have this Arduino JSON. So Arduino JSON in this particular case is going to be used the Arduino JSON version 6. Okay, this one is Arduino uh, JSON version 6. So they uh, um, Arduino JSON ha actually have a lot of um, update recently. So probably you can um, have a look uh, into uh, certain, certain errors and then a majority of the error are due to the 
um, different versions that are available from the main repository so therefore you have to change here and there so if you want to change just go to the sketch and then include the library and then go to the manage library and then you have the ability to look into this uh, particular Arduino JSON um, suitability levels or version and then you can make an update accordingly some of the makers already explain um, the use of the previous one so the previous one will be the 5.13 5.13.5 if i'm not mistaken so that is the the previous versions that probably can be used uh, if you run some error but for this specific sketch that i already provide in this particular video uh, it is specifically run for the arduino json version 6 so uh, please uh, just navigate into your library manager repository and then try to find out the arduino json version 6 that i uh, made available uh, for you to be install it accordingly inside your own uh, arduino ide okay so just type here arduino json and then press enter and then you are going to observe there are one specific repository under the arduino json okay let me just give you the idea okay this is the arduino json by uh, benoit blanken so i'm going to I'm already installed it under the 6 version but if you got any problems you can just go to the uh, previous one so this is the previous stable version which is the 5.13.5 so this one is usually work for the ESP8266 uh, uh, but now um, in my um, sketch over here I'm going to use the 6 version because it is compatible with my ESP32 module okay and then you are going to identify a few changes uh, inside your IDE so the first change of course you need to insert your wi-fi name and then followed by your wi-fi password and then followed by the api key so where you want to get those key you have to navigate to your open weather map you can just uh, install or sign in upon the open weather map dot org it is a free and then they have also some um, license features where you can subscribe accordingly it's depend on your preference but for your, this simulation and example i'm just going to use the free account and then you can just navigate to your profile over here you can go to the my api keys and then you will have this api key so this api key you can copy it so that you can paste it accordingly inside uh, this sketch okay and then after that you can find the string city id all right to find out where is the string city id you need to understand also that where you want to look into in terms of their location so in my case i'm going to navigate something to do with rawang rawang is one of the areas in my state so my state is actually selango in malaysia so i may want to click this button rawang comma malaysia so this is the overcast clouds means that there is no specific station but it is a forecasting technique that are going to predict some sort of um, weather behavior in my areas and then you can find out the specific id is actually on the top of your url so this is the specific id that you might want to copy one seven three five one five zero so if you want to um, search for another cities that correspond to your areas uh, please do that because it is uh, going to give you some ideas about your areas also okay after that uh, i'm going to insert this city id and then the another one that you probably want to make some change is actually um, i already made some modification for this um, sketch because i include also the ntp and also wi-fi udp so these two particular libraries are very important for me to also sync my internet connectivity with the timing of the internet so that's mean uh, my um, oled display after this are going to display also the time and date correspond to my specific location and areas which is uh, in this case is malaysia so i i'm going to just give you some idea so this is the idea of if you are malaysian so probably you have to use this code 28800 so it's actually a conversion factor and then this 60 uh, double zero is actually correspond to the one minute kind of refreshment so you can just scroll down and then you can find out some ideas about here so it is uh, based on your location so as you know malaysia is jmt8 so i'm going to use these uh, values to insert inside this ntp client time client uh, for these values okay as default is actually um, correspond to the jmt 
uh, one which is the 3600 if you find out inside the um, original sketch it's going to be identified like that but i find out that there are some um, mislocation or misinterpretation in terms of the date uh, therefore after exploring it then i know that uh, the malaysia is actually using the gmt8 where we have to use the value of 288000 and then after that um just uh, following through all these thing they will call upon all the details and then this is where the idea begin where you are going to connect with the api uh, dot open with the map dot org server and then they are going to request for the api key and also your city id and then they are going to call upon the data from the arduino json script and then those data are going to be arranged accordingly so my data is actually uh, consists of following um, variables name as country temperature humidity pressure uh, speed degree of the wind speed and also longitude and latitude and after that there are some printing on the serial connectivity and then the next one is actually we are going to display it on our OLED display so if you are going to use this um, sketch uh, please do it and then you can uh, also make some delays in this case i'm going to request the data for approximate of one minute okay if you can see here i also include the adafruit so the adafruit library are very useful especially if you want to communicate with the OLED displays depends on the sizes right okay let me just make it much more bigger a little bit so that you can appreciate uh, the conditions of the sketch so that you can uh, make some manipulation by your own okay so this is your um, SSID name and then this is the password and then this is the API key where you want to get the API key just uh, create an account into your open weather map account and then navigate to my API keys and then copy your keys over there and then paste accordingly and then you are going to request the city ID where you want to find the ID you can just request the ID based on the city that are you interested to look for so in this case i'm going to uh, look for rawang at my area or my locality and then this is the number correspond to that particular areas and then i also include the ntp where you have to adjust according to your jmt standard so that our uh, oled display are also going to display the time and also date function all right so let us go into the uh, uploading of this code So in terms of uploading of this code, uh, you have to connect with your computer first. So I'm going to connect with my computer over here. And then of course, I'm going to insert also the Wi-Fi and password. Okay, you have to navigate to your tools. And then please navigate to your corresponding board. In this case, I'm going to use the generic uh, ESP32 module. So just go over here and then change the board accordingly, ESP32 Arduino. ESP32 uh, development boards and then um, please also make sure that the port are correctly assigned okay so let us uh, have a look at the output of our project so this is the output of our project so let me just reset it a little bit here so that you can understand uh, what happened uh, after we um, embed the code inside the chip of this ESP32 so after I um, insert the script inside the ESP32 this is the OLED display are going to be observed like this and I'm going to reboot it or reset it again and then we are going to see what happened okay let me just reset my ESP module okay. so it's all right so it's been connected already with the proper IP address and then you can see over there I got a temperature approximate of 32 degrees Celsius with the humidity of 81 wow quite warm and also quite hot over here and also inside my room and then we have a very slow wind speed approximate 0 0.53 millimeter per seconds and then with the wind angle of 326 degree and then we have the latitude and longitude and also our date and time over there which is correspond to the September 4 uh, 5 uh, 15 something like that uh, in Malaysia Rawang area so that is the idea of how you can use the ESP32 module uh, together with the OLED display uh, so that you can display your weather conditions in your specific areas so I think that is a nutshell of our presentation today I really hope that you enjoy um, learning something from this particular video if you got any questions and also any comment and and some experience that you might want to share using the ESP32 together with the uh, free services and cloud services like this please do comment your thought uh, at the down section over there and then uh, all the descriptions uh, videos and also the code available in the descriptions of the video in my github channel 
until then thank you for watching this video and i really hope you are going to help me with these three clicks so the first one you can click the like button and then please do also consider to click the share button so that um, all other peoples that you know of can also learn from this video and the third uh, click is actually go there and then click the subscribe and also click those notification bell so that our future videos are not going to be missed until then thank you for watching this video and see you again next time Bye-bye.